Okay. Uh, before I talk about this one, this one, or this one, I want to talk about this one. Here's what we got. Start with this piece of paper here. Okay. Now, I know you all have opinions, but yeah, I'm just going to give it a try. This is what I'm going to call four phase permanent magnet alternator. This four phase has 16 coils. Each coil has 100 turns and it's 18 gauge wire. The size, on the, the size of the coil is based on the, uh, uh, the, the, the magnet, which is, comes with 24 magnets. It's an N48, and the magnet is one inch, half and half. So therefore, the coil center is one inch. Plus 100 in turns. The only thing that would change is the depth of it, the thickness of it. In my particular case, I have half an inch thickness. So we have four phases with that sets of coils, configuration and magnets. The four phases, they rectify as follows. A plus C, that's a two phase rectified together. Bridge rectifier and B and D rectified together. So two independent ones. And they come together after the rectification. But here's the diagram. So, I hope you can pause it or look at it whichever way. Let me get the shadow out of the way. Okay, so the uh, first two, you know, they're alter. What's the word? Anyway, here's the um, A and C connect together. Here's the B and D connect together at this end portion of it. And here's the. Uh, I hope you can follow my lines, but anyway, I'm going to pause as much as I can. B and D and A and C. My crude drawing of a uh, <laughs> bridge rectifier diodes. So each couple, they... AC, AC, the minus plus and this is the other set and the minus goes to the oh sorry plus goes to the minus and then that's where the battery goes or charge or whatever so let me put it all into what do I have did this work here's what I have freak is the light man so one magnet disc, which is, I don't have it sandwiched yet, but based on one disc underneath, I produce 14 volts DC rectified at 150 RPM. So therefore after two discs set up and from a previous history, I know I will get 28 at 158. RPM, okay, which is I uh, really I'm looking for 27. It's the whole idea is charge 24 volt. But when I build them, I build them with uh, I don't know what the word. Anyway, so 14 volts, 150 RPM. Uh, yeah. So what do we have? 14 volts, the RPM.
Stupid RPM. 149. So that's close enough for me. So what do we have? So I think I accomplished what I want after a few trials of uh, coil, you know, how many wines and all that hoo-ha. It's a long story, but I came to the conclusion, 100 wines, turns, that will produce what I want. I dropped it to 150 RPM, uh, because 200, is, I think, is a little high. We'll see how it goes. Again, I use my crude method of PC motor to spin it and so on. This time, because I wasted so many copper, and MacGyvered uh, where the coils sit, I cut a few. Frick, man. Here it is. Cut this. And where this was, I put the coils and I uh, screwed it back down to tighten it so that when I put a load on it, it doesn't um, go crazy. So, put a little load here. Here we go. This requires a high voltage because it's a, um, yeah, there's hardly anything actually there but it's 120 volt well, when I put it on the I think this one is 6 volts it's gonna blow the shit out of it but what the hell come on son of a All right. ready one wait for it Boom. Did blow it. Sucked the power right out of it. <laughs> anyway, okay. That's what I'm going to call four phase PMA. Shut up.